Many thanks for joining the program and welcome to the market opening gong where we give you updates from the Nigerian capital markets. This edition captures the market performance for Wednesday, March 4th, 2020. From the Nigerian Stock Exchange, the All Share Index closed at 26,415.54 basis points with a market capitalization of 13.764 trillion naira, meaning it appreciated by 0.61%. The equities market continued on a positive performance as investors gained 83.59 billion naira. NEM Insurance, Royal Exchange, and Mansard were top gainers, while Adova PLC, Debcap Management and Trust PLC, and Consolidated Hallmark Insurance were among the top losers. In terms of trade volumes, FBN Holdings, Zenith Bank and United Bank for Africa were the top players. Looking at the NASD OTC market, the NSI closed at 692.79 basis points with a market capitalization of 498.9 billion. Volume of shares traded was 343,873 and the value traded 39.40 million in 10 deals executed. The FMDQ OTC exchange debt market size closed at 29.7 trillion naira. The NAFEX rate closed at 365 naira 58 kobo to a dollar, while the INE FX rate opened at 365 naira 19 kobo and closed at 366 naira 31 kobo to a dollar. You can also check for global commodity, currency, and other indices on the economic dashboard showing on the screen. For the key highlights from yesterday, the new management of Lafarge Africa, led by the chairman, Mr. Bolaji Balogun, visited the Nigerian Stock Exchange to engage the securities dealing members. It was an opportunity to formally introduce the new NDCEO, Mr. Khalid El Dokani. Lafarge is one of the leading cement producers in sub-Saharan African companies in the globe and plays a big role in the construction industry in Nigeria, amongst other sectors. For the market and economic activities to watch today, the Convention on Business Integrity in partnership with Business Action Against Corruption, Upright for Nigerian Action Aid and UK Aid will host the Regulatory Conversation 6.0 which will focus on the discourse, national identity number, matters arising and implications to nation building. In recent times, many citizens have faced a lot of challenges in registering for the NIN, especially now as it is being requested by some integral organizations in the country for certain transactions and documentations. The Regulatory Conversation series which began in September 2018, have provided a platform to cross-examine Nigeria's philosophy of regulation and enabled shareholders, including private sector actors, to prefer solutions to issues raised. To date, five sessions of the RCs have held addressing and preferring solutions to different issues. Also, the NSD OTC Exchange, in partnership with the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry, will mark the International Women's Day 2020 celebration with a discourse at the Chamber House, Victoria Island, Lagos. And that will be all for this edition of the Market Opening Gong. Visit www.proshareng.com to get more updates from our news stories and videos. Engage with us on our social media platforms displaying on the screen for further updates on our market reports. ProShare mobile app is also available on Apple Store and Play Store on your mobile device, which allows you to customize your preferred news and videos. Till we come your way again, thank you for watching and do have a wonderful day.